Now, I couldn't agree more with the narrator of that opening video, Prince EA, and especially the story that he told about the Belgian horses. We can accomplish, accomplish so much more working together than apart. Your show was much more telling than any speech because I think you express this, in, I mean, your precise this emergency, this deep feeling we have with a lot of strengths. What we need, what is waited from us, is action, small and big action. They say we live in a world of fake news. I disagree. We actually live in a world of fake olds. Think about it, we see the same old story over and over in the media. You know the stories, they tell us the world is becoming worse off every day. They say that new conflicts are rising in each and every way, but if we were to step back and examine the facts, we would come to one conclusion, that our world in which we live in is actually improving. Despite all the very real problems that confront us today, I still see grounds for optimism. Everyone benefits from digital services. And prosperity is nothing less than the seedbed for peace. Thanks to trade and globalization, we have made huge progress in areas like poverty, infant mortality, hunger, crime, education, and disease reduction. And see, the smiles of millions of people around the globe are the proof. Now, that's not to say we don't have a long way to go, but can we please tell the truth? It is said that in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am standing here in front of you to do just that. And I do not mean to offend anyone in the room, but the strongest nation in the world is not the USA. It's not Russia, it's not found anywhere in Asia. The strongest nation has always been and will always be. Imagine nation. See, if we can imagine a better world together based not on our differences, but on the things that connect us and make us whole, then we can create a future that is much greater than any vision we could ever have alone. I emphasize the word together because as the African proverb states, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, you go together. You know, I learned something about the Belgian horse the other day. Did you know that one Belgian horse can pull 8,000 pounds by himself? But get this, two of them can pull 18,000 pounds. And if you, if you send them to training, I mean, really focus them on this singular endeavor, then they can pull 25,000 pounds together. Together, we can pull so much more. You know, as a, as a student of history, I study the decisive moments of mankind, the pivot points. There have been many pivotal points throughout history where we found ourselves at a crossroads, given the choice of going one way or another. Ladies and gentlemen, this world is at a pivot point. And we as individuals can continue business as usual, or together, we can develop a rather unusual business. A business based on courage, character, and clarity. A business whose goals are free trade, peace, and prosperity. A business that does not focus on isolationism, but answers the global call. A business that builds bridges instead of walls. See, the truth is, there is no first or third world. There's one world in the universe. Uni meaning one verse, meaning song. We all have a part to play in this song. Some of us will pick to play first chair. Those who can lift the world up in ways that no one else can. That's you. See, we have many instruments in this ensemble, from violins to cellos to flutes to French horns. And when they solo, they all sound very clever. But ladies and gentlemen, an orchestra only happens when the instruments play together. 